Hi, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install and set up Outplayed for clipping software. Now, if you came from the Lethal Company mod, how to download mod pack installer application mod manager video, uh, well, I'm going to show you guys how do you use and set up Outplayed. Uh, but if you didn't come from there, you're just going to open up the web browser that you have. Um, it was already up, but Outplayed is all you're going to type in. Should be the first one that says overwolf up here outplayed automatically capture and then you're just going to download and install this as you can see here i already have it downloaded and installed right here you run this application it'll ask you the uh, basics that every other installer does do you want a desktop icon where do you want it located in your computer all that good stuff just go ahead and install all of that you're going to open it up right here outplayed once your outplay opens up, it should look very similar to this, but probably blank. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, on Pawn first installing, it is going to ask you what games you are wanting to use outplayed with. So you're just going to go through this huge, massive list of games that it works with, select them, and it's going to pop up over here in my games. That's going to say, hey, this is the game I'm going to be playing. This is the game I want to record or I want to take clips from. Once you're done going through that list, you can even search. So the forest, it does right there. Bam, I'm actually going to click on that. Uh, what about Sons of the Forest? It is. Bam, right there. Click on that too. Then after that, you're going to go over to my games right here in this little tab right there. Uh, if you don't see this, you're probably in a screen that's more like this. This is going to be your hub where you first open up the, the application. As you can see here, it is showing the last video that I took with my Outplayed software where me and my friend Decca were encountering a, uh, a skinwalker in Lethal Company. Uh, you're just going to go down here at the bottom. I'm in the way. I apologize. I move it over here. You're going to go to that icon right there, little gear cog. Once you open up your settings, go over here to the very top one where my cursor is pointing at. It says capture. You're going to set up your quality of capturing. So I have it at 1080p. I have it at this bit rate. I have it at 60 frames per second. You go to advanced options if you want a different encoder. But um, after you set this up, you're going to go down to audio. Set your device audio. This is going to be your desktop audio and then you can set your microphone for what's going to go over it. I always set my microphone a little higher than I set my desktop because this is going to be where Discord and everything goes through. And then this is going to be my personal audio. Since it's my video, I want my voice to be a little above everyone else's. Um, but again, you can go through advanced settings and uh, set up this stuff here. And then you can also set up a webcam. So when you're in game, it'll show you a little webcam at the bottom right. You just set that up right here, which which webcam you want only when visible or always. And then you go down to the My Games tab. This is where all your list of games that you just set up when you installed it should be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on Fortnite here. As you can see, I set it to manual only. If you set it to full session, it's going to record from start of application to end of application. So it'll record your entire session and then you'll be left with a two, three hour video that you're gonna have to go through and it can fill up your hard drive pretty quickly if you do that. So I always set it to manual only because I'm only here using the software for clips. You can even set it per match. That way it's not recording lobbies or you can set it to auto, high, auto highlight certain things like uh, anytime you get a victory, anytime you get a kill, anytime someone was knocked out by you or every time you die. Uh, but I'm, I, like I said, manual only is what I set it to. So these uh, top two options here are going to be for recording the full session. So if you want to start a recording, you hit control F5. It's going to record the last two minutes from when you hit the button and it's going to continue on from that spot until you stop it. Um, if you record a replay right here, this is the clipping. If you take clips, uh, I have it set to control F3. I believe that's the, the, the standard. Uh, but then I'm, I set mine to two minutes. So and every time I hit control F3, it's going to record the last two minutes of gameplay footage. And then I also have it set to record the next 20 seconds after that. And if you want all of your games the same, instead of going through each individual one and setting the same sections, so when you change one, a little icon should pop up here that says apply globally to all games. 
So that way everything should be the same settings. Uh, two minutes, I'm gonna keep it at that. And then you can also take screenshots in the third section here with uh, the majority of options and uh, controls is going to be just for screenshots. After each game, this should pop up. If it doesn't, you can just click on outplay and it'll show you that last session of gameplay. If you hit sessions up here, it'll show you all of the last sessions. I've already deleted the footage for these because I was using them for shorts, so that's why they're not popping up. You can even favorite certain ones if you don't plan on deleting them, and then you can click on here and I'll show you all your favorite videos. I'm not gonna do that because I delete all of my content after they're uploaded or I store them onto a separate drive. And then I've never used it before, but Outblade also has a video editor here where you can start new project, import video, uh, straight through what I have here, I guess. I don't know where this one came from, but let's put them both together. Uh, and then right here you have your two clips and then you can shrink them down to a certain point from either side. I don't see a, oh, there we go. Yeah, you set this little bar anywhere in here and you can cut it and then you can shrink that down to either side. So you can put the clips and it, it doesn't look like a bad editing software. I've never used it though. So this is all new to me. And then up here, I guess, export video and it exports it together. Let's cancel that because I don't want to do that. Um, but that's pretty much it. It's super easy to set up. Like this is a super short tutorial. I recommend before you start the game, you open up Outplayed. That way it's running and it's active and it knows you're okay. It's about to start recording or you're about to start gaming. Uh, you load up your game. It'll pop up at the top right saying Outplayed is active. And if it says that you're golden, you can just hit control F3. Uh, or whatever you set your keybind to, and it'll record whatever it is you're trying to record. Well, uh, that was a much shorter tutorial video than I expected, but that's going to be the end of the video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you out at any point, feel free to leave a like. Uh, leave a comment saying, hey, thanks, this helped. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to do as a tutorial, I would be glad to do it if you give me a suggestion. Um, I'm not looking to do 20 minute long videos for something that takes you literally two minutes to download and install. So uh, if you enjoy quick, short, to the point tutorials, that's what I'm here for. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next video.